Welcome back to this last part of the Google Apps overview for Dajan International School. And this last part um, gives you a glimpse on what Google Groups is and how this can benefit the uh, communication that we have between or among the teachers and among teachers and the students. Um, from the, your inbox you can go to the groups here and this will take you to a page where you can access uh, all the groups in Dajana. These are my groups that I'm um, that I am a member of. You can browse the groups in DJS. Now, actually, groups are set to be private only for Dajana, so we cannot share uh, groups with the uh, websites out of our domain. And uh, these are all browsing. You have the admin group. You have Grade 11 in English group, you have the Google Apps support group, you have teachers group, Cal for Google Apps, all of these are in our DJS domain. Now if you want to start a new group, and uh, usually groups are uh, created for a lot of things. You can start a group for discussion between you and your uh, students on your subject. You can call it as I did. Um, the English subject, the math subject, grade 7 math, grade 8 science, grade 9 uh, chemistry, whatever you want to name it so we can discuss or uh, transcend the discussion that you have in your classroom to engage the students more. And you can use it as an emailing system to send them emails and uh, those are members in your group. So the easiest thing to do is to go here and create your group this will give you an option to naming group I'm going to go for testing groups right and this will also give you an option for the email address now this is very important uh, if you want to send all of your group members um, an email you can send them an email to this email address and they will all receive it so I prefer that to, <coughs> you have an an easy to remember email address like uh, test group at DJS. So this is the only email for the group, and you have to add a group description, and then you can choose the option for the access level. You can have it public; anyone can access from Tajana, post messages, view members, and read the archives. You can have it as a team for projects or uh, or uh, uh, interest groups like uh, book group, like uh, science group for example and team only managers can invite new members but anyone DJS can post messages, view the member list and read the archives. You can check also <coughs> also allow anyone on the internet to post messages. This will enable anyone from the internet outside of our domain to post messages in the group. The third option is to uh, make it an announcement only. This option makes it only an email system where you send emails for uh, the group members. It's not It's not no more a discussion forum. It's only sending emails. So only managers can post messages and view the members list, but anyone from DJS can read and archives. So no one can respond, only if man managers of the group. You can add restricted, only managers can invite new members, only members can post messages, view the members list and read the archives and messages to the group do not appear in search results. This is usually used for a discussion a group for uh, subject matters. No one can access that and no one can add, none of the members can add other members unless you are a manager and usually the teacher is the only manager in the group. So I click create my group of course I have to add a description testing groups okay create my group this will take time some time to add now this will get you another page where you can add members um, you can add them by inviting to email or you can add them directly I usually add them directly so add members directly okay here you enter the addresses to the members 
uh, these are typically your students so you can copy and paste them from your excel sheet or spreadsheet into here I'm gonna give you another the same example as before add the same email here and write welcome message and I'm going to click send email to new members on the fact that they have been added and then you click the email subscription options send email for each message and update it depends on the, your preference here and click add members in this case this will add your members uh, note that you cannot add more than 25 members each time so you can add 25 members then 25 then 25 so you can add, cannot add them at the same time now I, I go to the uh, group here so this is the main page of the group here are discussions you can post you can have a new post okay and you can edit you can uh, manage the tasks you can do whatever you want in the group okay so this is mainly the how to create and add members to your group there are lots of things more to the groups how to to communicate through email system and um, how to collaborate on one topic and how to uh, extend the discussion in class to the online components I'd like to thank you to for your um, view of these videos